now i would like to start the next topic that is the triangle and its properties now before going to start the topic let us see what is a triangle now what is a triangle can anybody define a triangle yes a triangle is a simple closed figure consisting of three sides now if you draw a triangle so this is a triangle abc now it is a simple closed figure consisting of three line segments so the line segments are ab bc and ac a simple closed figure consisting of three line segments is called a triangle now what are the three line segments called in case of a triangle so the three line segments ab bc and ac so these three line segments are called sides so the sides are denoted by the line segments ab bc and ac so the three line segments are called the sides of the triangle and what are the vertices of the triangle now where the two line segment meet so the point of intersection of the two line segments so that is denoted by the vertex a b and c so the vertices are here a b and c now at each vertex of the triangle an angle is formed so these are called the angles of the triangle so here the angles are angle a angle b and angle c at each vertex of the triangle an angle is formed now this angle a can also be written as angle b a c or angle c a b so angle a can also be written as angle b a c and angle b means angle a b c or angle c b a so angle b means angle a b c and angle c angle c is same as angle a c b or angle b c a so we can write angle a c b or angle b c a now the three sides and the three angles are called the six elements of the triangle so if you consider any triangle then it has mainly the six elements so those six elements are three sides and the three angles so once again i repeat a simple closed figure consisting of three line segments is called a triangle and every triangle has six elements in it so the six elements are three sides and three angles the line segments which form the triangle are called sides of the triangle and each two line segments meet in a point that point is called as vertex of the triangle and at each vertex an angle is formed so there are three sides three vertices and also three angles in a triangle now let us see the sides opposite to the vertices and also the vertices opposite to the sides now if you consider any triangle abc now what is the side opposite to the vertex a so that is named as bc so this the side opposite to vertex a so that is bc now what is the side opposite to vertex b so that is ac now the side opposite to vertex b now the side opposite to vertex c what is the side opposite to vertex c so that is ab 
now these are also the sides opposite to angle a so the side opposite to angle a is bc and the side opposite to angle b is ac and the side opposite to angle c is ab so we can write the same thing as angle a so instead of vertex a we can write angle a so instead of vertex b we can write angle b and instead of vertex c we can write angle c now what is the angle opposite to the side bc what is the angle opposite to side bc that is angle a or the vertex a so we can write angle opposite to side bc so that is angle a or the vertex opposite to side bc is a now the angle opposite to side ac so what is this angle opposite to side ac that is angle b so you can write here angle b and what is the angle what is the angle opposite to side ab so the angle opposite to side ab is that is angle c so in the given triangle we can find the vertices opposite to the sides and also the sides opposite to the vertices